Nova, and welcome back to the factory down in the blood-lit byways and bleeding barrows of the barony beneath perfidious Dist Manor in Darga's dungeon. Barony, Pete? Factory? What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about a blood factory, baby! After last mission, we it's nothing down here but wall-to-wall -wall blood dolls, villains, and vessels. That's it, as far as the eye can see. The blood factory is in full swing. We're ready. It's churning. It's burning. And I think it's high time we take this eternal struggle of ours down into the antediluvian depths to diablerize the shit out of the Baron himself. In fact, you know what? I'd say I'm declaring jihad on the Baron because, you know, unlike White Wolf Publishing, I'm not going to let current events and social pressure dictate the name of my pre-existing product so I don't have to actually rebrand it with a new name and call the original a limited edition release. Unlike White Wolf, I have guts. Spineless pieces of shit. It's no wonder you went out of business, White Wolf, especially when you couple your rebranding with the fact that you made a lot of really mediocre tabletop games. Like one good one, one or two that were okay, and then some of the most god-awful trash ever produced by mankind. But hey, while we're on the subject of mediocrity to god-awful trash, Let's talk about what team we're taking down into the Barrows. Um, I'm going to go with Othello. Perdita on heels, Lady Macbeth backing up the truck. And honestly, you know what, Malvolio? I think we're going to put you in the front. Let's have you lead by example. We want you taking as much damage as possible and also taking advantage of that Crimson Curse of yours as much as possible as well. I'm beginning to think the Covet Signet combined with the fact that we have the Crimson Curse is not necessarily terrible, especially for a unit that takes away stress to give themselves stress. This makes our stress heal on our flagellant considerably better, and when we couple that with the fact that Othello can just follow right behind him and peel that stress off of him as well, we got a pretty strong little combination here. You guys are already all trinketed up. Look at this team already in the swing, ready to go. They're trinketed up and ready to rock. They're looking forward to this. They're little eager beavers. They're all, we're geared up and ready to go, Pete. Let's go kick some antediluvian ass. I'm going to diablerize Salat and found the Tremere. Should we do it? I mean, it's an epic mission. We're betrinketed. Everything else is taken care of. We do need to get Prospero in for some disease resistance at some point, and we're never going to cure Falstaff's bulimia. That's just too damn funny. Every, okay, one other thing we do want to check before we just get too trigger happy and run down in the dungeon. Let's take a look at our camping skills here. Everybody has level three arms and armor. Everybody has level three skills, which I think is the highest we can give them currently, right? Let's just double check that as well. Three may be the highest we can go because of our training. Yeah, okay, so three is the best we can do until we get ourselves three more portraits. I'm okay with that. Let's take a look at some camping skills, though. Equipment is fully upgraded. This team is ready to rock, man. Oh, the Flagellant only has four camping skills, and he starts with them. Intriguing. Well, what do you got? All right, Wound Care is okay. Chant is all right. Sanctuary, we have... I do like Sanctuary. Pray. If religious, we heal 15 stress. If you're not religious, you get five stress. Um, I mean, that's okay for everybody except for Lady Macbeth. Bless is also really good, though, and we would really wouldn't mind just having Encourage. What do we already have? Chant? Chant is not very good. I'm only going to take Encourage, though, for now. Lady Macbeth, what do you have? You don't have Encourage. you got the Leeches, which removes Blight and Disease. Experimental Vapors. I really want you to have the, the one that removes disease from people. So let's give you the Cure. I also really wouldn't mind you having Encourage. Although, I mean, Experimental Vapors is okay. Leeches also removes disease. Oh, the, the that's right. The cure is self only. Still, that's okay. We want the both. Yeah, this this is acceptable. Would we rather have some stress relief on Lady Macbeth? We would, but healing is okay, especially I think probably for this party who already has a relative abundance of stress relief. Let's not go to the well to one too many, and we definitely want Zealous Vigil because this is a badass skill. Heals the crap out of our dude and also prevents nighttime ambush. Zealous speech is also fantastic. So uh, there we go. All right. All we got left is 12 grand per provisions, and this is an epic mission, so I'm thinking we're probably going to be blowing most of that 12 grand on food and whatnot. Do we have any duplicate trinkets we could get rid of to maybe uh, come up with a little bit of extra cash? Doesn't look like it. All right, then. 
One question remains for Othello. Do we give him minus three speed to give him plus 20 damage and an additional... Man, that's an extra 25% stress, though. That's a... You know, no, it just... that For 10% damage, that just doesn't really seem like... It doesn't seem worth it. It just doesn't. In combination, those two things, I think, are going to be the, the... Venturing into the courtyard will consume one invitation. Uh, still embark, though. I guess we've... Okay, so we've used our invitation. How much food can we take? Three stacks. Well, we're taking three stacks. How about shovels? I'm taking six shovels. Remember, I have no idea what's going on down here, so we're, if anything, we're going to be vastly overprepared. And it does say epic on the 10. Mission length, it says epic right on the thing. Torches, you know, three stacks, three, that's 20, that's a ridiculous number of torches. Four full stacks? How are we ever going to carry anything out of this dungeon is the other question. We have no room for loot. Well, I'd rather be overprepared than underprepared. Boy Scout motto, Pete. Be prepared, son. Be prepared. Old Satan Claus is out there, and he could Shanghai you into a movie with Damon Wayans at any moment. Last Boy Scout drop, Pete? Hell yeah. Last Boy Scout actually is probably Damon Wayans' best movie. Innocuous frivolities would escalate to ever more disturbing diversions. So what you're saying is you went to a, like a Bachnalian orgy ancestor? Fiend who seemed to delight in proportion to the suffering he caused. I could have stopped him, I suppose. But I was a slave to my own appetites. And restraint would have rendered me a hypocrite. So a hunchbacked guy? We got like a reverse Xerxes from the movie 300 kind of thing happening here? What games this quest is epic. Pool play at now? You're not expected to finish epic quests in one attempt. You may regroup, abandon the quest at any time, and your progress is saved. Okay, very interesting. When you obtain another invitation, you may continue the quest from where you left off. All right, important to know, and also we may have grossly overprepared, especially in the torch department then, if this entire thing is going to have bloodlight. We also know where the secret room is? How is this an epic quest? It's like four... This does not seem extraordinarily epic. It's like four things. I am super stoked about finding the secret door early, though. All right, guys, let's just get to work here. One thing that does suck is we are taking one stress with every single tile that we travel. Oh, shit. Uh, work of spirits. No, don't. Don't. Okay, you know what? For some reason, I'm convinced that if I let that bleed tick, it's going to give me the Crimson Curse. And that's the one thing we care about in this dungeon. We forgot to bring blood for Malvolio. Yeah, that's, that's real not good. Okay, he's at the lowest level of Cursed, though. Maybe we'll find some blood. That That's our hope. We got to find a vial of blood for Malvolio. Get Malvolio some blood. Check. Number one on the list of to-do things. Find some blood for our boy. He's going to need it. So you have 17 health. That is not a killing blow. I was... Oh, he resisted a bleed, too. That's incredibly bad. Infallible server tube means this guy's going to guard. That's eh, fine. We are not going to be able to get a kill on this man, but we can make him step in front of this. Let's do that. He resisted the blight as well? Son of a bitch. All right. And we didn't... Okay, perfect. We came up... Uh, we're going to get Crimson Cursed all over the place here. Gathering the blood, gathering the blood. Sweet dodge from Othello! Okay. You guys got to do a little bit better here. Give me a bleed on this man. He's re How are these guys resisting the bleed? He has a 35% bleed resistance. That's twice! 35%, dog! Confidence surges as the enemy Little guy's going to step in front of that and take the hit. Let's go for the Jacques. That gets us 10 damage and one kill. All we got to do is land a Blight here, and we've got fatal damage. Okay. These guys are only 70% Blight resistance, and beautiful, we did pick up a vial of blood from Malvolio. Othello, eat that food. We have no other use for it. Um, there's, a, there's a trap here somewhere, though. Where is it? There it is, right? This is a little bubbling cauldron thing. You're bad at traps. You're terrible at traps. 
That's the one drawback to this team. They got nobody who knows how to handle a trap. Fortunately, Lady Macbeth is like, hmm, you know, I remember what happened to my husband. I can smell a trap coming. Look out, Macbeth. It's a trap. Banquo's fucking faking. He's on to you, dog. What are you? Chevalier. Well, the Psychophant... I don't know what it does necessarily. It has a, I know it has an attack that the Maddening Wine is a... One of the ones that gives a horrify. Buried Blast and Subterranean Skewer. I'm still more worried about the Supplicant because he's the guy who can actually give us the Crimson Curse and I don't want it. Let's have you whack the Moth. My goal is to try and soften these guys up enough that we can potentially get a kill with Othello. Well, I really wanted to try and stun this man, but the Shuffle has not done us any good in that respect. So instead, let's pump some Blight into him. He is resisted to Blight. That's unfortunate. Their formation is Wonderful critical from Othello. The offensive. Man, Othello is bringing his A-game. Subterranean Skewer? Hell yeah, Malvolio wants your damage. Bring the damage. Give him the bleed. Give him the debuff. Oh, we dodged the Crimson Curse attack. Suck it, bug. This stuff is all very Blight resistant. Wait a minute. I wonder what our Blight bonus is. We gotta take a look at that. You need to be dead, though. We gotta take a look and see what our actual Blight resistance here is. Uppercut for the punk ass. Chevalier stuck the bleed. Uh, give me the Jacques. That's probably double kill right there. That should be fatal damage between the Blight and bleed. Yeah. Hellstone's okay. A thousand gold is real nice. You know what? Since we got the bloodline, I'm deacon a stack of these torches. Uh, I'm gonna stick this onyx in the toilet. I'm gonna take these crests. I'm gonna take this gold. I'd love to take the trinket, but we just don't have room for it. And you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of the laudanum. We re-scouted a place that we had already scouted. So there's no reason to come down here. There's no real reason to go here. That's just a straight up dead end. Move to this room with a curio. A locked room. What the hell is a locked room? Do we need a key to go in that room? New mechanics, baby, I'm super stoked. Kill the man who can give us the Crimson Curse. We know what the ghoul can do, and yes, the ghoul is dangerous, but the ghoul is unlikely to straight up kill us. Yeah, we should, we've actually failed a suspiciously large number of, uh, we've actually failed quite a few more than I would have expected. Let's just make sure this guy dies. But we've failed quite a few more blight sticks than I would have expected given our relative position here. We also should probably maybe do a little bit of stress relief. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Let's go for the double grind against this guy. He's gonna skull toss us, all right. That's a stress attack. 17 stress is... Oh, the stun is unfortunate as well. And you get critical... So who has the most... Well, you do. All right. You know what? Hit this guy with a bleed here. Surprisingly, Ghoul's very vulnerable to bleeding. It's unexpected, but not unfortunate. And now we have fatal damage on that guy. Let's double stack the fatality. He dies at the start of his next turn. Well, shit. I was hopeful we could manage to get in one round of swinging on him, but it's just not meant to be. There's stuff here. We're just, we're not going to be able to carry this loot out. I would love to. We can't. In fact, we're probably going to have to abandon everything we've picked up. We could circle back for the secret room. Once our inventory has been, we don't have any firewood. I just noticed. Which means we can't camp. Uh huh. Yeah, just, just, uh, just noticed that. You know what? That ugh, that means stress management is going to be even more of an issue. What is this? Shifting mists. All right, burn those bad boys away with the torch. We probably brought way too many torches in all reality, but I, I figured like we'd be in. We're supposed to be going, like, into the Baron's courtyard or something, right? I figured some of this fight would take place indoors. Another scout? Do we just get a scout every room? What does this locked room mean? I 
I'm debating on this secret room. I'm really having a strong internal dialogue here. Uh, we can feed these. I don't, you know what? Just here, you have the Crimson Curse. Just touch these and see what happens. School's flowers have nothing off. I can't abandon the secret room. As much as I don't like it, I, I can't abandon the secret room. I'm definitely not fighting this hallway battle again. We'll take the backtrack penalty stretch. Oh, what the hell? These good heroes release me from these chafing shackles. How do we do that? Are you a debt of gratitude? All right. I mean, sure. Not sure what happened there, but okay. Whatever. Select the destination room on the map. Well, I kind of still want to go this way. Treasure ahead, you'd wager. What was the, what was the deal with the little man we just busted out of the clink there? Are we going to get to add a jester to our roster? Is that what that got us? Did that get us a free jester? That'd be pretty sweet if it did. I'm avoiding these rooms because I want to go. I want to see what this locked door is. My curiosity has been peaked here. Uh, you are a throbbing cocoon. We want to burn you. Got rid of a little stress. Okay. Locked door. It lies beyond the shackled portal. Let's find out. Item didn't work. Can we shovel it open? Nope. Well, I'm guessing medicine, holy water, anti-venom, or a bandage isn't going to do the trick. Blood? Nope. All right. Well, I got nothing then. So I guess we're backtracking the whole way. This is going to cause us some pretty significant stress. Or, yep. Yeah. Well, we got four. That's not that significant, really. I'm guessing we would have taken more, except our guy who's getting minus 25%. So maybe we do have to check out these other rooms just to see if we can... There's got to be a key or something we're supposed to be, like, fighting to try and get, maybe. We got to find a key. Trap right here. All right, Plague Doctor. Two for two for Lady Macbeth. Suck it, Banquo. Your little scheme is not going to work this time. When we murder your son, we're totally getting away with it. Thorns hook into the flesh and cloying sap. Okay, well, something bad happened. Or they tried to give us the Crimson Curse again, and it was too late because we already had it. <laughs> That's why I had my boy with the Crimson Curse poke it. No risk there. What are you going to do? Make him a vampire? He can't. He's already a vampire. Damage is already done. Speaking of damage already being done, we probably need to start throwing around a little bit of healing here. Maddening wine. Okay, stress attack neatly dodged by Lady Macbeth. Start punishing the guys who can get us the Crimson Curse. We want these punk asses dead. Get some blight up in his face. All up in his grill. Give me the Jacques. Good aggregate damage on the Jacques. Man, the Jacques must do bonus damage to these guys. It seems to be hitting way harder than it should be. 10 damage from Perdita on the subterranean skewer. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Yeah, but rather than slowly and gently, could we maybe take those lives swiftly and violently? Well, that's real bad. Othello now also has the Crimson Curse. We should have killed the bug first. I forget that those guys can also give us the Crimson Curse. But you know what? If this is going to be our... If this is going to be our blood-maddened Crimson team... Then let's just accept the fact that eventually these guys are going to all have the Crimson Curse. We're just, it, it's only a matter of time. The fact that we got it now just means we're going to be using a little extra blood every week. Another subterranean skewer. Come on, get my boy. You need to hit him a little bit harder so he can get you with the big one. That's the most stress you do. Let's do a little stress relief here. Pull that off, get that onto you. We're going to do a little double round stress relief, in fact. We'll hit for seven, heal ourselves a little bit on that Chevalier. Start piling some stress on him as well. And then you peel that stress. He took your stress, now you take his. You guys comfort each other. Little subterranean skewer for Lady Macbeth, taking seven damage. Not the end of the world. We're kind of toying with this guy. We probably shouldn't be. Resisted the debuff and the bleed, huh? All right. Give me a, give me a little AOE heal. I do foresee a problem with that AOE heal, however, keeping our uh, keeping our flagellant a little healthier than we'd like. We kind of want him banged up a little bit. Let's get rid of Lady Macbeth's stress here. Lady B, 
Lady Bay. My girl, that's fatal damage for the sh Nope, the Chevalier was not quite there. Buried Blast. Double dodged, suck it. You got nothing, chump, and also you got fatal damage. Blood, I must have the blood. Well, we had a vial till we gave it away. Sorry. Let's get the most stress here. Um, let's get some of you. There we go. You're going to take six as a result of that. We're going to go for the AoE heal. All that supports you now is the blood, so you're going to refuse healing. That's fine. You can heal yourself. That guy's going to drop dead. Picked up a shovel. Three deeds. Ah, we really need those deeds way more than a citrine. Sorry, citrine. You're going on a toilet floor. I don't know why I even came down here. We actually already scouted this, and it has literally nothing in it, right? Yep. Oh, there's... Okay, so the potential exists for more rooms. Alright, so maybe, just maybe, this dungeon is actually fucking enormous, then. Possibly. Possibly this dungeon is just gargantuan in size. Progress is saved whenever we regroup, but I don't know how we get more invitations. That's the question. This is straight up a dead end, all right. I was hoping that maybe this would branch over and connect somehow, and we could, like, get behind this door and maybe unlock it from the other side. Pete was thinking possibly shortcut action. I don't know about you, but that's kind of what that suggests to me. Let's go do this room battle, then. Curio on the way. Um, now, would you please stop poking these things? Perhaps this contains the blood. No, nope, it, it definitely doesn't contain the blood. Do you freak out every time a party member starts bleeding? Is that going to be a thing that happens now, though? Speaking of blood, we really, really need to find some blood. Oversight on my part for not having brought any along, admittedly. But also, we really need to find some blood. Starting things off with an unpleasant dodge. Stick to bleed, though. Oh, okay. I mean, he resisted part of it, but we did stick to bleed. You did do what I asked you to do. Now he's taking 10 around. We can kill the corpse eater, soften him up. Blight and bleed combination's going to take him down. Little buried blast damage coming at us. No big deal. This guy's about to get his face uppercutted completely off of his skull. Here it comes. Off the skull. Big old critical heal, too. Honestly... I mean, the critical is... I'm never going to complain about scoring crits, quakes. but... Maybe a little untimely. Just got some stress here. You have one? You have one? You have 14? You know what? Let's go for some stress relief here. I feel like we can get away with it. This guy has fatal damage, so we don't have to do anything else to him for the rest of the mission. He's done. Are you going to freak out because she's bleeding? You know what? Let's not even give you a chance to freak out because she's bleeding. Let's just have Lady Macbeth immediately fix that shit. And then we'll have her heal herself with the big heal. This guy's done. We don't have to do anything to him. So we're just going to go for some roundabout stress relief. Gobble that up. Took six to get six. And then we're going to get rid of the six that you just took. I really like that combo, man. I really like that combo. It's solid aggregate stress relief. Brought low and driven into the mud. Just don't freak out and demand more blood that we don't have. We really need to find a source of blood here. Gonna be getting in another fight. The fights, I feel like we've been doing pretty well, though. They've been going okay. Okay, the bug dies first. Kill the bug. Five damage. You did make him bleed is nice. Infallible servitude. You're gonna guard the Chevalier. That's fine. We're gonna hit you both anyway. Kill the bug. Okay, bug is dead. We got. We need to do no more damage then to the bug. He's done dealing. He died to a bleed, which is unfortunate because of the... Oh, shit. Oh, he targeted a unit that already had the Crimson Curse, so it's fine. Oh, he gets bigger when he feeds. Is that how that works? Huh. Intriguing. All right. Well Enjoy some struck. critical blight. And I'm thinking a little bit of Jacques Hughes. Man, we're really getting good mileage out of the Jacques Hughes. The buried Blast really does some pretty good damage. Mmm, the wondrous smell of a wound. So that occasionally gives us stress. You are keeping the blood for yourself, aren't you? Don't, don't, maybe don't, maybe don't do that. Maybe don't punish our own guys.
I'm thinking that was a Crimson Curse thing, though. Comes in raging slight. It's gonna be hard to piss her off when she's all stunned. Oh, it pulled her forward, though. That's actually quite bad. She is now also marked, which is bad. Um, we're gonna battlefield bandage ourselves. Get rid of that bleed. This opens up the door for us to Holy Lance, though. Subterranean skewer, Othello's taking nine. All right, Othello's starting to take a little more damage than I'm totally comfortable with. And we don't have anybody in position to take... Okay, we're just... We'll swap back in. We need a man in third position to chew up that, uh... Yep, that's unfortunate. All right, you gotta die. We needed somebody to absorb the Holy Lance. We had, didn't have a target for it. That's the problem. Give me a big heal on our boy Othello. He's been taking a bit of a beating here. You guys taking some abuse. Start putting some poison in the Chevalier, Lady Macbeth. Don't worry about doing it with a dagger this time. Just dump a little poison in the stew pot at the meal and all of your troubles will go away. Not really going to worry about stress relief here. Now we just need ac actual damage. Except for here, where some stress relief would be much appreciated. And honestly, we don't really need to hit that guy too much more. Lady Macbeth is all marked up. We're going to have her hit herself with a big heal. How much are you uh, blighted for? Not enough. I think we're better. Our better bet here is to just kill this man. We want to make sure he does not survive another round to tag us again. Nine deeds, though. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Yeah, I can't really pass up nine deeds. Sorry, Health Stone. You're going in the toilet. I need these deeds. Citrine, you're also, I mean, not long for the world. I really want to see if we can get behind this locked door. I want to know what it does. I'm guessing there's a way around it. I want to try and get around it. Also, maybe we have to think about making this episode a two-parter because our team seems to be holding together. It's a dead end. Well, should pick this. What I was going to say is our team seems to be holding up pretty good. I, it feels like our limiting factor here may be the Crimson Curse unless we can find some more blood. So maybe what we should be doing is favoring paths that lead us into Curios so we can get a shot at some blood. We could just burn this. If we burn this, we get stress relief. Who's the most stressed? You are at 10, so burn this. Also, you have the Crimson Curse now too, Othello, so you're welcome to touch things also. We've got multiple people who can touch stuff now. And we're gonna have what requires a shovel. All right, done. We're just taking a little walking around stress. First time we've had a hunger prompt. I think we maybe brought too much food as well. We have overprepared here in a couple different directions. All right, this dungeon apparently is just monstrous. Like it's titanically, gargantuanly, it's fucking enormous. Oh, let's go. Uh, let's go take a curio in a room battle. We really want room battles with curios because anything we can find that gives us the opportunity to get some yeah see blood is going to be our problem here we're going to need we're going to need some blood we must have blood before the night is over could there be some there um i don't know I mean, we really I, I wish i had brought some blood i honestly do i didn't even think about it i must please the blood and we are now wasting this is a situation where we could theoretically die. Hopefully there's some blood in this room. If we can get a guy down to wasting and give him some blood, that'll be a coup. So who could give us the Crimson Curse? Either one of these guys. Let's start with the little dude. Oh, okay. Those guys have a pretty good dodge. I'm going to go for the double stun because I really don't want to take the damage from those guys. And they are not exceptionally stun resistant. Enraging Slight is fine. That'll pull us forward, which no real effect here. must gather what little I have left. I'm guessing, okay, so you bled yourself there. Shouldn't, I thought when you were like all freaked out from a lack of blood, you got more powerful. Pre-digestion. Puked on us a little bit. Not the first time Perdita has been puked on. Man, this little bastard is unhittable though. Double dodge. There's only one double D in this scenario and that double D is for daredevil. We're going to get some good aggregate damage. Well, no, we resisted one. Never mind. Infallible Servitude goes in. That's fine. Way better than giving one of our, like, worthwhile members the Crimson Curse. 
This manservant son of a bitch is pissing me off. Freaking die, you punk. Take a hit. We've missed you three times straight. I'm going to get one of these through. There. That's fatal damage, even if we can't ever hit you again. Subterranean skewer. Okay, that hurt. That must do bonus damage to marked targets. Such a terrible assault. Yeah, it's a terrible left. assault, but uh, it's okay because Malvolia wants that pain. Frankly, he needs that pain. Raging Slight. Go ahead, bring it. Malvolio's at death's door. Why did other people heal? He's just a taster already injured. So these guys are giving each other stress a bunch, I guess. Okay. We want to be hurt, but we don't want to be death's door hurt. That's maybe pushing it a little bit too far. Let's keep piling blight on this guy. Oh, I forgot that little shit stepping in front of him. Subterranean skewer. Ha <laughs> ha, not this time, shit biscuit. Buried blast. That's going to put us back on death's door. It also leaves Othello a little more injured than I'm comfortable with. Here's what we do. Othello, whack this guy with the sword. Malvolio, I know you're at death's door. Too faint, but do you have any blood? Yep. I really needed you to not pass your action there because of the Crimson Curse. I Okay, I think we maybe need to get the hell out of this dungeon then. That puts us off death's door. We probably should go. Jacques those guys for 15 aggregate. Feels as though sand pushes through my veins. You're giving us a lot of stress here as well, which I don't really appreciate. Let's go for the double big heal that pumps you back up to full. Puts Othello back in full fighting trim. Man, flagellants are just really, really good. Seven damage. We got a blight stuck to you. That guy has fatal damage. We're going to take one more subterranean skewer, it looks like, and then this fight is over. And possibly this could be in the dungeon. We can't really press our luck too much with our boy here wasting away. Unless we can find some blood. Really wish I had remembered to bring blood. Really, really wish I... We found blood! We did it. We did it. Drink the blood. They can be beaten. We did it. We found the blood. We drank the blood. Delicious, delicious, wholesome, hearty, enthusiastically satisfying blood. It's part of a balanced breakfast, kid. Get yours today. You know, one thing we have not been hit with here is... is blight. Also, what we could do... Let's... Let's get rid of this food. We're going to nosh ourselves back to full. Just get everybody up and up. I really want this inventory spot. I really do. And I want it not for the gold, but for the crests is actually why I want it. Is there anything else we might... You know what? We're getting rid of those shovels. I want the 250 gold. And also, I want to wrap this up. I don't think this run is done. I feel like this team's still got plenty of legs left to go here. Even though Othello is up to craving. If we can keep keeping a supply of blood on us, though... There's no telling how far these guys could go. We're still in really good shape. Low stress levels all around. Pretty healthy. We're deep in the dungeon. I feel like things are looking pretty good. I really want to know what's behind that locked door. Maybe we can find out, but we're going to do that next episode. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see the continuation of our morbid entertainment, you might consider subscribing as well. Post new episodes of Darkest Dungeon every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. How crimson will this court be? We're going to find out. I'm coming for you, Baron. I'm coming. The Jihad does not stop. The Jihad from the land of Nod. I'm coming for you. And I'm going to Diablerize your ass. You know, just like the Tremere did to Salat. Because that's how they became a great clan. Their lineage, every time he traced it back for every Tremere. Every time. It must be like you always got back to so-and-so who Diablerized Salat. That's all I'm saying. Tremere? Scumbags? Bet they were. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.